Hi, my name is Gabe Mansfield, and I am the Nursing Library Liaison at the University of Alabama. Today, I would like to talk about looking at research on the internet versus databases. What do we mean whenever we say the internet versus databases? In this context, the internet refers to anything and everything readily searchable and available on the internet. When looking at databases, it's typically limited to library resources, such as scholarly journals. Some examples of internet sources might be Google, WebMD, user submitted information in general, or Wikipedia. Examples of databases can include things like PubMed, CINAHL, ERIC, or APA PsycInfo. What are some of the differences between the internet and databases? Typically, on the internet, there is a wide variety of sources that are much more difficult to evaluate due to their diverse origins. Even with something like Google Scholar, which can be very helpful, is extremely interdisciplinary and can be challenging to parse through information. Some sources may seem true and factual, but are in fact not. In comparison, databases usually have a narrow focus of, on sources, are often credible through a peer review process by experts in the field, and are typically focused on a particular discipline. For example, PubMed and CINAHL are nursing or medical da databases, whereas ERIC is considered an education database. Why does any of this matter? Results can be much more refined with databases due to the specific information provided. Additionally, information is considered much more credible when found in these databases, although it is still important to evaluate all your sources regardless of their origin. Clutter and unnecessary searching are usually removed from databases because they are more refined in what is being searched. Finally, search strategies can be more robust and specific, and search strings can provide a lot more information when searching in a database. Finally, looking beyond the internet and databases, it can be important to find out where to go. If you're not sure where to start, looking at the A to Z databases on the library's website can be a good place to start, as well as consulting the Nursing Reference Guide to specifically see which databases are important for nursing. Additionally, consider how to search in these databases effectively and why that is important when doing research. As always, check out other library resources to assist you in the research process. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via the Nursing Reference Guide or the staff directory, and I would be glad to help. Have a great day.